high school, and I did uh, should we allow water play parks in our river? So, what is a water play park? It's a man-made based um, park, like a white river park, uh, meant for canoeing, surfing, up and on the river. It's made of a concrete slab on one side and a hole on the other side so that you can fight bigger waves. Um, they take excavators and they pretty much just put concrete slabs, as you can see right here, um, for kayakers just to be able to sink into the divot and just fight against it and have fun. Um, what is the importance of a water play park? So the importance of a water play park is mainly for sport, fun, new experiences for Colorado residents, um, recreation. Um, another importance is that it brings in a lot of tourism, and tourism brings in a lot of money. Um, as you can see on all these pictures, it's a pretty huge community gathering. Um, also, if you add in concrete slabs on a low season, it makes the CFS rise to about two to three times as much. So say it's you got 2,000 in the river, you get about six to 8,000, sometimes even 10,000 on a good season, um, which creates the waves to be really huge, lots of rapids, and much more fun. So the pros of having water play parks, one, fun, tourism, help. Um, there's nothing bad that happens to the river. Studies have shown that upstream and downstream of the water play parks Nothing significant has happened to the ecosystem, to the life, to the trout, anything wrong. The only problem is that safety, um, the trout, and the pollution that the excavators cause into the air and into other such things, um, it's a dangerous sport. Obviously, if you fall out of your kayak or out of the raft, you can get severely hurt if you don't have the life vest, if you don't have a helmet, you can hurt yourself real bad. Um, and that the <coughs> trout in the river do get damaged throughout the construction phasing of it, but of course they spawn multiple times and they constantly reproduce, so not that bad. So what about new play parks? Basically, there's a new one happening in No Name, and how we felt as a group, um, luckily they're not here, uh, but we felt that we should allow new play parks because it doesn't seem to harm anybody at all, anything in the river or outside of the river. Just a little bit of change in landscape, and that's about it. Any questions? Yes, ma'am. Um, did you um, come across uh, the fact that a lot of these whitewater parks that are being put in are because of Um, yes, we did look into that a little bit, um, but mostly what we did find was that the main reason for them was because they um, rise in CFS, and that's all we could really find about it. Like if you get like 2,000 CFS, it's, it's just not good for the season, and during the summer, like the past year and the past couple of years, it's been uh, really low. So that's why here in Glenwood, they have the Glenwood Wave now, and then in um, Montrose and other places as well. But no, I've not looked as much as it. So the only way to get a rise in CFS is, is to get more water in a river. So uh, actually putting, a, putting structures in the river doesn't actually in itself create more volume in the river. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, so it's a little bit of a tricky sentence there. Um, but actually, interestingly enough, like for example, 